Ex Yakuza dressed in drag while at large. No, no, this isn't. This isn't a sub story to a Yakuza video game. This is Japan News with Johnny. Masaru Abe before his arrest left and right. Wow, he's all bloodied up and he looks. Well, he looks mad in both of them, but he looks more grumpy here. Obviously, because there's blood on his face. Why is there blood on his face? Let's find out. Imagine, if you will, a former gangster accused of murder. A cold-blooded shooting that took place inside a karaoke parlor. Imagine further that he is now on the run from the long arm of the law. Long arm indeed. Don't get me started. Don't get me started on the government and the police. Just... Ah! Watch my watch other videos of Japan News to find out how I feel about the police. Such a scenario may bring to mind the escapades of Warren Betty and Faye Dunaway in Bonnie and Clyde. But for Masaru Abe, a 56-year-old former member of the Sumiyoshi Kai, his life at large was closer to Mrs. Doubtfire, reports Fuji News Network July 12th. At around 6.30 p.m. on July 11th, police apprehended Abe inside a parking lot in Edo Gawa Ward. Officers later accused him of murder over the fatal shooting of another former gangster. On January 21st, Abe allegedly shot Lee Hung Jong, a 65-year-old former member of the same gang, three times in the chest and arm inside a karaoke parlor in the Kabukicho Red District. Red Light District, of course it was Kabukicho. The victim was later confirmed dead at the hospital. Tokyo police apprehended Masaru Abe in Edogawa Ward on July 11th. See, this is a very accurate depiction here. Got nine J Hero police surrounding one guy dressed in drag. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. I mean, it's 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 pretty much criminals killing criminals. Who cares? Like, why do you care? It's fucking gangsters killing gangsters. Who cares? It's not like they killed a civilian. So, uh, yeah, it took nine police for that. That's nice. I mean, that's just a description here. I'm sure it was probably more than that. Just before apprehending Abe, police spotted a vehicle that he's believed to have used in the parking lot when he approached the vehicle about 10 officers were waiting for him. So 10 officers. See, I knew it was more than that. I knew it was more than nine. This picture is not accurate. At the time, Abe was wearing a woman's wig, black glasses, and a brown hat, a disguise that he believed to have used during his time on the run. He was also wearing a blue and white striped shirt. However, Abe quickly shed the act and turned to violence as he attempted to flee. In photographs later taken off, taken of the suspect, he was shown bleeding from a wound beneath his left eye. Upon his apprehension, he was in possession of one pistol. I aimed for his heart and fired several shots. Abe was quoted by police in admitting to the murder. <sighs> See, Japanese criminals are fucking morons. Just, 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 just stop. And here is a depiction of the clothes Masaru Abe wore on the run. Okay. Following the shooting in Shinjuku, Abe fled by motorcycle. Police later found a motorcycle helmet and red hat at the apartment building in the Okubo, Okubo area, about 600 meters from where the incident took place. Well, he didn't go very far, did he? No. Very stupid. Lee was a national of South Korea who was left in who left the Sumiyoshi Kai more than two decades ago. An investigative resource told weekly tabloid Shukan Bunshun that the motive for the crime was revenge. So this guy waits 20 years to get revenge. Was it worth it, buddy? Was it worth it? Probably not. Immediately following the incident, it emerged that Ali stole Abe's girlfriend while he was in prison. Ugh. See? Bit, cr bitch, crazy bitches make you do shit. Alright? Women. See? If there's anything you're gonna learn from this entire fucking article... Women can get you in a lot of trouble. So just uh, watch out which women you get hooked up with. Yeah? That's all I gotta say about that. He's Johnny in Japan. He's Johnny in Japan. He's the worst J-Blogger in the world. Crappy food reviews. Barely any views. He's the worst J-Blogger.